The first thing I always go in with is my W7 Perfection Primer. <laughs> you know, the f I don't have the... Actually, just finished the foundation I used to wear, so now I'm moving on to my Women London Match Perfection con <sighs> Foundation. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Get Ready With Me. And this is based on my everyday makeup routine because it has been requested and I thought I would do more like panning looks for my Panda palette this year. And um, yeah, this is just the look I have done with my Too Faced chocolate bra so far and I have done this look for like over two weeks. Um, so. I thought it was a good time to share it with you. The first thing I'm going in with is my W7 Perfection Primer. This is really, really good for your pores. And I take an amount that is like a pea size or something. So it's... That's enough, you know. <laughs> so I'm just dabbing that and rubbing it in basically on my cheeks, forehead and chin. At the moment, I'm priming my face with my Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. I'm trying to use this up this year because I just don't use it enough. So I just take a small bit because a small bit goes a really long way. So that's what I'm going to do. Today is a filming day and I have been tagged in a lot of videos. So I'm going to do those and then a few others and some for my Danish channel. Um, so this is like a filming day and I need to do them back to back, um, pre-film a lot because I just started my internship for my education that I need to have to pass um, and my everyday week schedule is crazy and I don't have any energy so it all has to be done in the weekends and often I don't have that much time in the weekends, so when I have time, I need to film. I just primed my eyes with my MDK Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. It's okay stuff, I have used it for a few weeks now and uh, straight and it's not my favorite, but it's okay. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm using my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Light. And I have tried to do it a bit differently than the eyebrow routine I have done on this channel um, and I actually quite like this way more because it's more sharp and precise and I just really like it this way. So go in with a spoolie first and then yeah. Firstly I'm going in with the wax and I am taking my Real Techniques brow brush I'm loading up the brush with the gel, the wax. So I'm just going like this. Shaping up my elbows, basically. And then going down. And I'm going in with concealer afterwards, so that is why I'm a, little, a bit messy, but not really at the same time. Some of you guys um, have asked um, or been really interested to hear about my internship and how it's going and stuff like that. And so I started internship from on the 10th of January. So when I'm filming this, I have been here like a few weeks now and it's great. It's really, really great and I really, really love it. I really, really like not having any classes and homework and stuff like that. Right now, I only need to think what my main assignment for this semester uh, of my education is going to be about and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't have any homework. I don't take it home with me. I'm very, very excited about that because it's just really really nice to get home and then you are off and then you can just go to work and the assignment will be there and I have been missing that so much because I did um, work in Germany for a whole year if you don't know that 
um, in from 2015 in the summer to 2016 in the summer. I worked in Germany in uh, Nuremberg, close to München, uh, Munich. So yeah, fun fact about me. I'm not fluent in German, but I'm pretty close. <laughs> um, yeah. But my internship is going great. I am a communication intern. So I do a lot of uh, social media work, I do a lot of photoshop, like pictures for the social media, text, um, like invitations for the company, for events, and just stuff like that, and I really really love it. Um, like next week, when I'm filming this, um, I'm going to do some videos and taking pictures and stuff like that, so I'm really really excited. Um, so they have uh, given me access to the Adobe uh, Premiere like video thingy and Adobe programs overall so Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign and stuff like that so that is really really exciting. I just know that it, that is the way I want to go. Um, it is a I don't know if, what you will call the customers we have in English. We work with people that has like a sensitive soul. I don't know what you call it. They don't work anything. They, oh, what do you call that? If I if I have a word, I will put it on screen. Um, so I did some of my eyes and then I just realized my camera cut me off just because my card was full So I have just deleted some footage and now I can explain what I did um, So I took milk chocolate and strawberry bonbon and I mixed those together and put it in my crease And if I have no footage on it, I will I set my eyelid primer for my brow bone onto my crease with milk chocolate and then my eyelid with strawberry bonbon. So that is kind of what I have done so far. And then I have put on my lid my color two from Maybelline, my on and on bronze cream eyeshadow with a flat concealer brush and I just need to blend it out basically now. So this is what I am doing every single day and then most of the times I'm doing um, creme brulee on my lid. It's a pretty shade and it goes with everything because, because it's gold. So I load up a fluffy brush and then I just pack it on the color too. So that is what I'm doing every single day for my internship. And I think I'm going to pan this look until I hit pan on a creme brulee and then I will find a new look and then I will go shade. I know my main goal is to pan the entire chocolate bar palette but I don't believe that much in myself so I'm just going to try to hit pan on every single shade. I'm blending out the gold shade and the color shade with strawberry bonbon just so it's not that harsh and the gold shade is not in my crease that much. Going in with milk chocolate a little bit as well. And then strawberry bonbon again. I go back and forth a lot because I don't want it to be too harsh and I don't want it to be too dark because yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Taking this brush I set my eyelid primer with and just blend it out a little bit. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush from my outer corner and I'm going in with Semi Sweet right here. This is a very, very dense shadow, but I can see some wear in it. Um, so, but I have used this from my outer corner like a lot. Then I'm going in with Milk Chocolate to blend out the shadows a little bit more because they are real dark. And I lost some highlight, some brightness under my brow bone. I don't like to be too dark in my inner corners right here because I have hooded eyelids and it can very fast be too much if it's too dark. Taking a towel and then wipe away the excess under my eyes. So now I'm moving on to my Women London Match Perfection 
foundation in 100 ivory this is one of my favorite foundations ever so i'm so excited to be using this again so i just need to learn how it's working again so i pumped two pumps out of my hand and then i'm going to spread it out on my face it's definitely darker than the foundation i just panned i can work with it then just blend it out with a sponge this is a light to medium coverage you can see your light blemishes through it but you can also build it up to a nice um, coverage then i take a shading brush from Girl techniques and my benefit erase paste and then i'm just putting some on my dark circles because they are real at the moment because yeah i don't sleep that much it is hard to go from like no classes and only like breaks and exams to work full time just like that so my sleep schedule and sleeping in general is not that good so i have been really loving this erase paste recently <laughs> fuck ah oh, you're okay just my vice floor falling onto the floor blending that out with a sponge and you can kind of see the difference it's really really amazing and then i'm taking the brush we used strawberry bonbon and used a little bit and dab that onto the erase paste just to set it a small bit then i go in with concealer and right now i'm using my collection lasting perfection concealer in fair and i'm just dabbing this underneath here so underneath my eyes and i really really love this concealer but you can't get it in denmark because it's an english like british brand so that's just lovely I'm just blending that out with the sponge again and then if there are any excess on my sponge I go over the like spots and stuff the foundation didn't cover that well set my concealer and my face so I go in with a loose powder at the moment for my concealer because my stain mat is not working that great with me at the moment um i don't know what it is um it kind of cakes up my concealer right here in what for my lash line you know close to my lash line so i'm going to use a loose powder and this is the um w7 matte dreamer loose powder and kind of gold to use it up so i kind of bake and kind of not <laughs> Good. I find it to be setting my concealer really nicely and it kind of does that trick so the concealer is not too pale for me anymore but I think it was Natalie from Lipstick Lover or something I can't remember your username I'm sorry but I think she was the one who wanted to know or thought it would be interesting to hear something about um, YouTubers having a job besides of YouTube yeah I never thought that YouTube could be like my job if it happened to become my full-time job that was cool with me I I would actually love to do that because then I will do the marketing stuff for myself that would be quite cool but I have never thought of YouTube being a full-time job because there's a lot of big YouTubers in Denmark and they have been here like since the beginning and in Denmark it's really really hard to build a YouTube channel because the small YouTubers kind of get neglected because why would you watch this person that doesn't have that many subscribers, is she bad, and stuff like that. There are so many like thoughts for people 
um, but I really really enjoy the small YouTubers um, not just in the panic community because we are a lot and we are some big YouTubers actually <laughs> um, that is panning but you know it's just really really cozy and there is it's just the most fancy setup and it's just very homey and relaxed and I really really like that so that is kind of what I'm going to do for my videos. I really want the homey setup where you can see my couch, my cushions, like or if I show you my makeup table, it's not completely clean and it doesn't have that big um, the fancy glitter drop backdrop or what it's called. And I just really like where you can see furniture and how you like decorate your home. I think that is so much more nice to look at than just a fancy glitter background but that's just me um, I have heard some other talk about it but I just really really like the homey feel and the small casual and relaxed because that is what YouTube was in the days when I began to like be interested in YouTube and then it suddenly become hyped to have this backdrop that's a shame I really think so but that's just it Going in with my hula bronzer, just bronzing up my cheeks a bit. I'm blending it out afterwards. It's a bit harsh now, but I'm blending out. See? Already helped just to keep blending. That is also a shame, I think, about this new YouTube policy, you know. I'm not going to go deep about it, but I am going to lose uh, the monetization for this channel at least because I don't have a thousand subscribers and this channel has only existed like June or something so of course I don't have a thousand subscribers and I don't have like 4000 hours of views a year because it has only existed for like half a year so there will be a long time until I get monetization or something what's called for this channel but, um, I will just keep doing it because I love doing videos for you guys because I know you're there and I know like you will comment and watch and stuff like that um, so I'm just really happy to have you guys um, for my Danish channel I'm I'm really confused because um, I do have over a thousand subscribers on my Danish channel and um, I have a lot of views overall when I have had that channel um, that is past the like limit for monetization, you know. Um, I don't know how to explain it in English. <laughs> I don't have the 4,000 views per 12 month, uh, so I don't know if I do lose the monetization on that channel or not because it doesn't pop up with the alarm that on the February 20th. Um, you lose monetization for this channel uh, and stuff like that. It doesn't say that on the Danish channel, but it does on my English channel, on this channel, you know. So I don't know if I lose it or not, but we'll see. Basically, I can't do anything about it, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait and see if I lose it or not. And if I do, I'm just going to be working uh, hard on content so people want to watch me. <laughs> um, I'm fighting a tough fight on that channel to get views because there's no one watching me, I think. Um, I get comments sometimes on that channel, not as much as I had hoped. And, um, but I do get some and I'm really, really excited to have those and people do watch me on my Danish channel, it's not that, but I only get like, for a video I uploaded a few weeks ago, I only had like 50 or 70 views and I have over 1200 followers or subscribers on that channel, so I don't really get where the views are. Um, because it does get out in the like subscription box um, so I don't really get why I don't get more views um, sometimes I just think I'm getting boring or something um, but then I make content for you guys and it's, it's not the same content but it's me 
So I don't get why, what, what's the difference, you know? I do empties, I do bullet journal now on that channel and that is going okay well. Um, I do hauls because I do buy stuff, um, not as much, but I do some videos and my makeup looks that I really want to do and really enjoy doing, they don't get that much views on my Daniel's channel and that's just a shame because I really really love doing makeup looks and get ready with me and stuff like that on my Danish channel but they don't get the views. So I lose the motivation for stuff. Um, so I'm really really happy to have this channel because I don't lose motivation for this channel because you guys uh, request videos, you guys chat with me in the comments, you always are so supportive of my project plans and stuff like that. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know why I made this channel and I why I split it up, um, it's basically because uh, I got kind of hate on my Danish channel for doing the English videos because I didn't have the time and energy to do a Danish and an English panning video every single time I had to upload one. So I just uh, I just did the English one and then that was that because in Denmark we have uh, we start to have English in school very very young. We are like seven years old when we begin to have English and that is very very soon uh, I think because I was like I think I was like 11 when I started to have English in school so it has yeah, you know, you begin sooner nowadays, so I don't see the problem with doing English videos on that channel, but I just got a lot of hate and why don't you do it in English and I look forward to watch your Danish penning videos and why don't you do those and I, I already asked you guys what you wanted to see. And uh, no one of the Danish viewers said something, so I just assumed they wanted to see the English videos only. Um, and the subtitles on videos takes three times longer to make than the actual video editing, so no thank you. <laughs> so I just thought this was easier and it has been and I'm so happy with it, um, but that does mean I lose meditation in like a month, so that's great. I'm going in with a champagne truffle from the chocolate bar. This shade right here is my highlight and I use Benefit High Beam on my cheekbones with my sponge as you just saw. So that has just been a really really great match um, with colors and a blending and it has been like a blinding highlight. <laughs> so I really really have enjoyed these two together. Um, and the rest on the brush is going on my nose, cupid's bow, and then I'm going to take a brush and put it in my inner corner. And I'm going to go in with milk chocolate a bit. Can you see that? Yeah. So yeah, we are going in with eyeliner. And I'm using my P2 Intensive Cool Eyeliner in Impressive Bolivia and this is like a dark burgundy red eyeliner. And I'm just going to do that on my upper lash line, upper lid here. Why is it turning out so much better today than all the times I have used it in for work? My go-to lip combo at the moment is my Lip Twister in Very Nude and my e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Wink Pink. Then the brow gel I'm using at the moment, it is the Rimmel London like brow this way, clear brow gel. I like it, it's okay. 
And then for the last one, it is my W7 The Max Fixer. Just because I just remembered when I wanted to take my light brow gel. That is everything for this makeup routine of mine for every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me playing with makeup, um, doing my makeup routine, talking a little about, about my channel, my Danish channel and my internship. So if you have any questions or uh, if you want me to touch on a subject in a future get ready with me please comment down below and i will of course um, answer your question and if you have a request for the future subject please let me know because then i will write it down on my list to for videos to film basically so i hope you enjoyed this video and please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah please take care until my next video and i really hope to see you there so please take care bye guys